Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today is the day you see a very special car. Very old but special. Very, very special to the car enthusiasts, the Audi uh, team, the Audi enthusiasts and every, any other car enthusiast. So today, let me show you what we have. We've got an RS2 event, 8C. The production was 1994-1995. This car is in the Volcano Black. We've got a 2 litre, 5 cylinder, 20 valve. Originally, this car produces 315 bhp. However, this one produces 540. 540 bhp. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyhow, as you can see, this Porsche is a this this Audi. See, <laughs> has a collaboration with Porsche to make this car. As you can see, and the badge here, RS2, and Porsche at the bottom. The Audi logo here has been sprayed. black which looks very nice this car isn't the prettiest car but it is a classic at the end of the day and I do I do love it as you can see let's let's have a quick walk around the car so you can see what I mean Okay. So as you can see this car is not stuck. It's got the upgraded headlight covers in glass black, volcano black even. Slightly tinted headlights here and on the other side too. <laughs> the silent but deadly intercooler just sticking out at the bottom there. Let's have a quick look at the engine bay. Very heavy bonnet. Oh my. So as you guys can see, we've got a big upgraded turbo right here with the big with the upgraded pipes. And the custom air filter just down the bottom there. You can see the huge wastegate just sticking out of the sticking out from beside the turbo. And the upgraded piping with the uh, heat covering. Yeah. We've got we've got upgraded inlet manifold. Upgraded fuel pipe, fuel pump. Um Inlet manifold rolling all the way down to the intercooler Right here um, When I get the name of all the parts and everything that has been done to the car You've got the struts here Yeah, so everything that everything that's been upgraded with the car um, I'll put in the description below because at this moment I don't specifically know So um, when I know I'll make sure it's in the description as you can see, we come to the side of the bumper and it's got some thin looking, thin shaped gills at the side of the bumper. It has that old school retro look to it. We come to the alloy wheels. These are not the original alloy wheels. The, what the, the car was meant to have a Carrera Cup Sport 17 inch alloy wheels, but it has these aftermarket five spoke alloy wheels. Um, everything else is the same it has a 315 millimeter sorry 345 millimeter discs vented discs with the big red Porsche caliper let's 
As you can see, it's got the Porsche badge in the middle there. Get a little collaboration going on. As we come around to the back of the vehicle, you like let me know in the comments below what Porsche had this kind of design with the headlights going straight across. I'll give you a little hint, it had the Porsche badge in the middle here. So let me know in the comment section below. This car is amazing. As you can see, the inside of the car has not been touched except for one thing, which I'll show you in a minute. This car has got lovely carbon fibre with blue stitching inside of it. You can smell this car is old and it's getting into its age, but this car is what? 13 years old? Sorry, what? 28 years old? Where am I going with 13? 28 years old. And the condition isn't that bad, to be fair. The only thing that's aftermarket in this car is the stereo and also the gauges, which you can see here. Why, eh? Temperature gauge up here. Air and fuel gauge here and turbo gauge right there. Boost gauge. And all your standard equipped instruments at the bottom there. Let's turn it on. Comes with a differential button. When you press this button, it locks the, the back differential in a slidey so you don't slide, so the back doesn't slide out because this car's got a lot of power, it comes with a lot of power standard. Um, yeah, as you can see, this looks like a disc changer. It's got all the old school equipment. This one even comes with a uh, camera. Which most cars don't even come with now. Which is, this car's crazy. As you can see, I'm in the back of the car and it's got the retro TVs. Small size. And as I said before, the interior condition is very clean for how old the car is. As I said, this car is 28, 23 years old. Overall, this RS2 is a bad boy car. For you, and car, for you people who don't know about it, it's a bad boy car and it, the price will be going up every time you see another one of these. So, if you can invest in one. Um, thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Peace.